In this video, we'll go through the top 10 Zelda staples that were not included in Tears of the Kingdom that I would have loved to see. Tears of the Kingdom is a fantastic game, which includes a lot of references to older Zelda titles. There are a variety of weapons and armor from previous entries to appeal to fans of all the past Zelda games, but there are some Zelda staples from previous entries that are currently not in the game, ranging from items Link can use to some iconic artifacts. The entries in this video are what I would have liked to have seen in the game, but let me know in the comments what missing items you would have liked to have been in Tears of the Kingdom. Number 10. Musical Instruments There is no doubt that music has been a staple in the Zelda franchise. In Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, an ocarina is played to access various areas, use to change the weather, or even teleport from location or time. Heck, the whole premise of Link's Awakening is to gather musical instruments and play it for the Windfish. Now, if it were up to me, I'd have given Link an ocarina again because there is a perfect opportunity to have Link play music again, and that's for the quest where you unlock the fairy fountains. This quest has Link travel around Hyrule with the musicians who unlock the fairy fountains. In order to unlock them, the musicians play music for the great fairies. But why not have Link also play music with them? None of the musicians have an ocarina, which is one reason why I'd pick this instrument to be the one that Link plays. Let me know what instrument you'd like to have Link play in the comments down below. Number 9, The Hookshot If you've seen some of my past videos, you would know I'm a fan of bringing back the hookshot into the game. This item is definitely a Zelda staple in the franchise and had gone missing with Breath of the Wild and now Tears of the Kingdom. With climbing and now the ascend ability, the hookshot isn't an item that is needed in the game, but it certainly could be helpful getting from one place to the next. Do you have a big hill to climb? Maybe the hookshot pulls you up halfway and you can climb the rest. Also, imagine how cool it would be using it to go from Sky Island to the next Sky Island, as long as it's nearby. But one thing I'd also implement with the hookshot are new features with enemies. Maybe the hookshot can pull the wooden shields to you so you can disarm the enemy. Or maybe if you use it on an enemy, lighter enemies can get pulled towards you, whereas for heavier enemies, maybe you pull yourself towards them. An interesting thing to think about is if the hookshot would be an ability, say get rid of the map on the ability wheel for it, or if it would be like a weapon that breaks after so many uses. If it's a breakable weapon, we can introduce a variety of hookshots, like maybe ones with different range of reach or claw shots even. While some may think that the hookshot is outdated, there are ways to improve it so it can provide new uses that haven't been seen yet in the Zelda series. Number 8, The Bug Net The Bug Net has been in a handful of past Zelda games, and given the wide variety of bugs in Tears of the Kingdom, this retro item could be really cool to use in the game. Currently, you're able to run up to an insect and grab it, but maybe the bug net could be used for a greater probability of catching the insect. The net could also be used to catch fairies and even those quick reptiles. There would likely be additional features the bug net would need to become viable in Tears of the Kingdom, maybe different sizes of the net, but at the very least, there could be a bug collector like in Twilight Princess. Depending on the different insects you bring them, there could be a variety of rewards given out, or maybe they buy the bugs at a higher price than a typical vendor. Just be sure to save the beetles for beetle. Number 7, The Fishing Rod We can't have the bug net on this list without including the fishing rod. These two items are very similar in what they could do for Tears of the Kingdom. As with bugs, there are a wide variety of fish in Tears of the Kingdom. And to be fair, there is an easy way to catch fish without the fishing rod. So maybe it would be cool to have an area where you're supposed to fish for a competition. Maybe it's the catch of the biggest fish, but either way, it would have been cool to bring this item back in Tears of the Kingdom. Number 6, Deku Nuts. Tears of the Kingdom offers a wide variety of items that are extremely useful. I love the puff shrooms and muddle buds that really help with crowd control while fighting a handful of enemies. This is where the Deku Nuts could really come in and shine. In Ocarina of Time, Impa and Sheikah both used these in their cutscenes to disappear from Link. They cause a flash of light and stun anyone nearby. Given the similar effects of other items in Tears of the Kingdom, the Deku Nuts fit perfectly by providing the same effects as they did in the previous entries. You could use them to stun nearby enemies to either help escape or for crowd control when fighting them. This item would have been a cool one to bring back, and it would fit perfectly for some of the related items like the Puff Shrooms and Muddle Buds. Number 5, Ball and Chain. 
The first time I came across one of the big spiky balls, I was reminded of the ball and chain from Twilight Princess. But unfortunately, only the ball was added and not the chain. Maybe a chain could be added as a weapon in the DLC, with the ability to fuse all types of materials to it. Imagine fusing different types of weapons like swords or spears that will allow Link to swing around the chain for a longer reach. Or maybe you can fuse the chain with an arrow that creates a makeshift hookshot or grappling hook for better climbing. But of course, this is about missing items from previous entries, not new ideas overall, so fusing a chain to the spiky ball would bring back this fan favorite item. Number 4, The Spinner. Speaking of fan favorite items from Twilight Princess, we have The Spinner. This item allows you to reach certain areas by riding alongside the wall that have ridges. And we can't forget to mention the boss fight where you get this item. Definitely a great boss battle. But what could this item look like in Tears of the Kingdom? Goron City was updated with the transportation system with their minecarts. It's an easy way to get around the area, and I can see the spinner being used for a similar fashion for transportation. Maybe it works on those rails, or maybe certain areas have ridges it could latch onto. Although, if I had to put it in the game, I think it would be best to work as a Zonai device. I can only imagine the insane builds that could be made with the spinner. Number 3, the Iron Boots. The Iron Boots have been in a few previous entries in Zelda, and I can think of a few unique ways that these boots can be utilized in Tears of the Kingdom. Strong gusts of wind are prevalent in certain parts of the game, whether it's in the environment, the Bacoblin equipped with a Korok Leaf, or Gliok trying to blow you away with wind. Using the Iron Boots can prevent you from being blown away from any strong gusts of winds. They could also be used to prevent you from being knocked back from a strong attack from an enemy. Similar to how Moblins or any big enemy doesn't get knocked back unless it's with a two-handed weapon. But the one reason to really bring back the Iron Boots goes in hand with underwater exploration. Have the Zora set give Link the ability to breathe underwater as a set bonus, and expand on the map with underwater exploration. The Iron Boots will help you sink to the bottom of any lake, and you can explore even more of the map. Here I go again with adding additional features instead of talking about the items themselves. I think we can all agree this would be a pretty cool feature with the Iron Boots. Number 2, Dungeon Mini Bosses. You didn't think this entire list was going to be missing items, right? To be fair, this video began as missing items, but I decided to expand upon just those missing items to include certain Zelda staples that are not in Tears of the Kingdom, and this is one of them. In previous Zelda entries, when exploring a dungeon, you would come across a room with a mini boss. It provided a bit of a challenge outside of the puzzles, and your reward is typically an item that would be used to complete the dungeon and beat the main boss. Nintendo did away with this in Breath of the Wild, but also didn't bring them back in Tears of the Kingdom. While the dungeons in Tears of the Kingdom are much better than Breath of the Wild, bringing back a dungeon mini-boss would have been pretty cool. Maybe after unlocking half of the terminals, a mini-boss appears on the stage where you would fight the main boss, before continuing to complete the remaining parts of the dungeon. It would have been cool to bring this feature back, and it just misses out on number 1 on this list. Number 1, the Triforce. Arguably the most iconic piece of the entire franchise is the Triforce, and definitely deserves to be number 1 on this list. Let me first say that yes, we do see a glimpse of the Triforce during the cutscene with Zelda restoring the Master Sword. However, I'm one that doesn't believe that Zelda has the full Triforce, and this is more of a symbol of the Triforce and not the actual relic. Let me know if you agree or disagree with me in the comments down below on this though. But yes, I believe the Triforce is missing from the game, and there are clear references to it on certain walls and statues, so it's definitely part of the Zelda lore still. It's a little odd that Ganondorf tries to steal the not-so-secret stones instead of trying to find the Triforce like in previous games. I get that these stones are supposed to be really powerful, but there's no way they live up to the Triforce in terms of power. We got an amazing Ganondorf in this game, but his ambitions are a little too low. Either way, we have the Triforce at number 1 on this list, and maybe it makes an appearance in the trilogy that's definitely coming. Let me know what you think. What other Zelda items or relics would you have included on this list? Please, slash that subscribe button for more Zelda content. Have a great day, and thanks for watching.